What's up, squad? Back with another video. Y'all seeing the title? What's going on? Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe button. Make sure also go check out Doug and out, please. You feel me? Uh, definitely amazing information, and definitely, definitely, definitely amazing videos. Let's get a video, y'all. It's been a minute since we've checked in on Aileen Cannon in uh, Trump's Florida Mar-a-Lago, uh, the documents case. And this is the case that Jack Smith is most obsessed with. So he's not paying attention so much to the Stormy Daniels thing or the Chutkin thing or the January 6th thing. He's all over this one. So let's read this CNN article to see big breaking news. It looks like it could be a benefit in Trump's favor, uh, but it's mostly involving the conflict between Jack Smith and Judge Aileen Cannon. Here we go. Judge Cannon considers whether to toss some obstruction charges in the Trump classified documents case. Special counsel Jack Smith's allegations that Donald Trump's close aides obstructed the Justice Department's investigation into his alleged mishandling of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago are facing their first major test during a hearing on Friday. What's this about? Well, Trump, they're saying that he ob ob obstructed it when they basically said, give us the documents. And he said, no, I have a right to these documents. I, I have a right to keep them. So they nailed them with uh, obstruction. Judge Aileen Cannon is pressing defense attorneys and prosecutors in the classified documents case over whether obstruction charges against Trump's co-defendant, Carlos de Oliveira, should be dropped. So this is one of his guys that they're saying he was he could have gotten obstruction charges even if he was just guarding his position and not letting people in they could they could have nailed him on obstruction they're going hey can you let our guy off even though cannon won't be considering any of trump's requests for the case's dismissal friday how she responds to his co-defendants arguments about the obstruction charges will likely shape how the presumptive republican nominee in the 2024 presidential election moves forward with his defense. So Trump is waiting to see how they handle this guy, De Oliveira's, um, to see uh, how she might end up treating Trump. Judge Cannon appeared skeptical of De Oliveira's argument that an FBI agent asked unclear or irrelevant questions during a voluntary interview. De Oliveira has been charged with lying to investigators about moving boxes with, at Mar-a-Lago. Does he have to tell the truth about the boxes? I don't see how he's the big fish to get in this thing. They only wanted him to play out and rat out Trump. De Oliveira is arguing that the obstruction-related charges against him should be thrown out because he was not aware of subpoenas issued to Trump. Prosecutors are not required to show that De Oliveira knew about the subpoenas or what they were demanding. Prosecutors only need to show he was aware of the federal investigation. So how do you like that? He doesn't, he, he only knows there's an investigation. He doesn't know there's cameras on him. He doesn't know if Trump did anything wrong. And I asked him if he moved boxes. He apparently lied about it. And now they're nailing him on obstruction. Okay. How I feel about it is that honestly, and this is just, you know, being one in my opinion, do something about Jack Smith. Y'all know what I mean and judge my, just drop the case you know that that that's how i feel you know about yeah, i think it. they're gonna let him go because he's not the big taco here they want trump as trump and his allies have argued he is being selectively prosecuted by the biden administration and jack smith of course which is of course true if he was working for a democrat work biden's you know one of biden's pages and handlers he's not going to ever get nailed for obstruction only trump's will this is identical to what Biden did. The only thing that Trump did that's worse than Biden is he obstructed that he, when they asked for documents, he said no. And Biden went in and turned them over. So they both uh, mishandled, allegedly, classified materials. Trump is the most justified because he was able to declassify materials. And Biden, as vice president, was not able to declassify materials. Now, here's the other uh, co-defendant, Walt Nauta who works as Trump's personal valet, and De Oliveira, who has worked as property manager. Mar guys, th these are a couple of Hispanic guys they're going after. One's a valet, and one is a property manager, like runs a golf course, mows the lawn. What did the aides know? We don't care. In court filings earlier this year, Naut. Like like Doug said, like everybody say, they not gonna, if you, if you up under that, you know, 
Trump is administration anything you work for they're going to try anything everything to get this man you know from being like I, this is crazy y'all this is crazy it's always something it's always something it literally every video we watch every video we look at you know everything that we look at, we we see that and we got to check out that documentary that's coming out too but every video it's always something it's like, how could you not want him to be president? It's crazy to me. And De Oliveira asked Canada to throw out the obstruction charges that they were facing because they say Jack Smith hasn't met his legal burden to pursue the allegations. Trump asked him to move them, and he went ahead and did it, and they're saying that he obstructed justice. He didn't even know it was in the box. Evil Jack Smith's team, however, said that De Oliveira's arguments about the strength of the government's case should be left for a jury to decide. As for Nauta's allegations, the charge is too vague. Smith said that the case has included, quote, extensive allegations of the criminal conduct that Nauta is alleged to have undertaken. In this interview with the FBI, the transcript for which was released Thursday, Nauta is charged with lying in the interview. Should Cannon reject their efforts, both co-defendants have asked the judge to order a document called a Bill of Particulars in which prosecutors provide detailed descriptions of the offenses they plan to prove at trial, so that they can properly do uh, research and defend themselves on these particulars. Smith's team has called those requests a thinly veiled attempt to get the government to disclose its trial strategy. Evil Jack Smith persecuting Hispanic just a groundskeeper, a grounds manager, and a valet. That's who Jack Smith is, the bad guy, the villain in this whole thing. I hope he loses everything done. and is grossly embarrassed. I don't think he's going to win this one. I mean, this is the one that they say that Trump actually has something wrong in that he obstructed justice by not turning over documents. I mean, I, I don't think this is going to happen before the election. What do you guys think? Does Trump... Ending with the question. Hold on. Why did what? No, 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 no. Why did they do that? I don't know why I muted. Trump go to trial on this Mar-a-Lago case before the election. I want to know your opinion. And if he does go, does he get off or does do they nail him? Because I think no. uh, the vote's gonna. We 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 know the an we come. we know the answer to that, y'all. We know the answer to that, and something got to be done. Drop them charges. Do something about Jack. Like I like I I can't stand you know the the simple like how. It's always something, and they they attack this man. I don't I don't understand how you sit there and not want to bet. Like we literally just got information of what's going on. You know, y'all y'all know what's going on, but I gotta watch what I say on here too, because I be wanting to say some crazy stuff, y'all. But you know, we we see what's going on, and and I feel you know, um, but he's he's just not capable of you know. A lot of things. I think it's time, you know, obviously this this should be that time, you know, especially with the, you know, his health that he's in now. Um, take this time, you know, retire, you know, just just chill. You know what I mean? But I feel like it's deeper than that. Um, I definitely feel like it's deeper than that. Um, and it's more so of a controlment thing, if y'all know what I mean. But uh, y'all let me know y'all comments, um, y'all thoughts down below. Definitely, definitely will check them out. Um, kind of a busy day today. It's already 424, so it's a little busy, but definitely appreciate y'all tuning in. Catch y'all next one.